Good morning from the National Weather Service in Peachtree City. Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the week of April 2nd. Shown here is the current weather this morning. You can see infrared satellite imagery showing abundant cloud cover across a majority of the southeastern United States, including Georgia. The blue lines you see are the 500 millibar heights. The kink in these lines across the Mississippi River Valley actually show the next disturbance that will be approaching our area. It's going to help to generate numerous showers and thunderstorms this afternoon going into the evening. You can also see a mid-level ridge beginning to move offshore. There was a surface high associated with this mid-level ridge that was actually bringing in some weak cold air damming across our area overnight last night into this morning. But that's going to be moving offshore today, allowing the surface winds to become more southerly and bring in more gulf moisture for this afternoon into the evening that's actually going to help generate thunderstorms as well. As mentioned in the previous slide, thunderstorms are likely today. Will there be severe weather? Possibly. Shown at the top is the Storm Prediction Center's severe weather outlook for today. You can see that the highest chances of severe weather will stay to our northwest, mainly across the mid-Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley. However, most of Georgia is in a marginal risk for severe weather. Now we could break this down by looking at the individual threats shown on the bottom. We're not expecting a tornado threat for today, but there is a small threat for some wind and hail. We're expecting overall strong to isolated severe storms, so this will not be a widespread severe weather outbreak today. Again, small hail is expected, generally peat and nickel sized. Could also be some gusty winds within the strongest storms as well. The best chances for thunderstorms today will reside across north Georgia, mainly across and north of the I-20 corridor. Best timing will be between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. today. Shown here are two of our high-resolution radar models. This is showing the thunderstorm potential for both this afternoon and for tonight. One model is shown on the left and a different model is shown on the right. Looking at this afternoon, we can see that both models show thunderstorm development well underway. Looking at the bottom, we can see that both models are also agreeing that thunderstorms should still be ongoing going into tonight. Not shown here, both models also agree that thunderstorms should weaken pretty quickly after sunset tonight going into the overnight hours. After tomorrow, our attention focuses quickly on Friday. A cold front will be approaching on Friday from the northwest. Thunderstorms appear to be possible ahead and along this cold front beginning Friday late afternoon into the evening. The severe weather ingredients are not going to line up very well across Georgia with this system. It looks like the best dynamics and the best ingredients will line up better northwest of us. However, there is a very, very small window of opportunity for severe storms to move into far northwest Georgia late tomorrow evening into the overnight. This is going to occur as the cold front begins to push through into the state. Looks like the main threat with this would be some damaging winds. And again, it's going to be a very brief window of opportunity for this to happen. There could be some lingering showers behind this front as it begins to push southeastward across the state overnight Friday going into Saturday. Finally, some good news. It looks like a beautiful weekend is in store across the entire state of Georgia both Saturday and Sunday. As mentioned previously, a cold front will move through late Friday into the early morning hours of Saturday. Behind this front, high pressure is going to bring cooler but pleasant temperatures to the entire state will also begin to dry things out as well. You can see high temperatures will generally range from the lower 60s to the upper 60s across the area. There could be some lingering light rain showers across the area very early on Saturday, but again, expect things to dry out pretty quickly. It could also be a little breezy in the early portion of Saturday as well. Expect generally sunny to partly cloudy skies later Saturday going into Sunday. We will see those clouds start to increase late on Sunday going into Monday as the next system approaches. Early next week, an active pattern will begin to emerge. We're expecting a warming trend temperature-wise, but we're also going to introduce some more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, creating an unstable environment pretty much every day going into next week. This is going to allow for daily thunderstorms to develop, at least through midweek. Right now, the severe potential looks low at this time, but it's definitely something we'll continue to monitor as time gets closer. 
In case anybody's curious, here is the temperature and precipitation outlook for most of April. Shown on the top is the 6 to 10 day outlook. This runs from April 7th through April 11th. Shown on the left is the temperature probabilities. Shown on the right are the precipitation probabilities. With this information, we can see that Georgia has a high probability of seeing above normal temperatures through this period, as well as above normal precipitation through this period. Shown on the bottom is the outlook for the entire month of April. And again, we can see a high probability of pretty much everywhere in the southeast experiencing above normal temperatures, but also experiencing above normal precipitation as well. This slide just serves as a reminder that our impact-based warnings, or IBW experiment, has begun. It began yesterday on April 1st, so this means that any severe thunderstorm warnings that we were to issue today are going to follow these guidelines. You can visit the provided link for additional information on this, or feel free to contact anybody in our office. In summary, we're expecting a pretty active end to this work week. For today, we're expecting strong to perhaps some isolated severe storms to develop this afternoon and this evening, mainly across North Georgia, but we really can't roll out a storm anywhere across our area. The main threats for today are going to be small hail and wind. Active weather will continue on Friday, mostly later in the day going into the evening, as a cold front approaches from the northwest. As this front approaches, there exists a small window for severe weather across northwest Georgia. Rain showers will likely linger behind this front as it moves through the area Friday night into early Saturday. Saturday we will begin to dry out later in the day and pleasant conditions will continue into Sunday. Cloud cover is expected to increase late Sunday going into Monday ahead of the next system. Next week we do expect a warming trend, but we also expect a moisture increase with these warmer temperatures as well. And this looks like it's going to fuel thunderstorms at least through midweek next week.